For this problem, we are given two very large non-conductive plastic sheets, um, each have 10 centimeters thick. And we know we are given the values for each of the charge densities in their surface, in their four, in their four um, surface. These are called sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, and sigma 4 with these given values. So we need to find um, the magnitude and direction of the electric field at some given points. Then the procedure that we are going to follow is that we are going to compress the left slab with the right slab in each of the points so that we get a uniform charge density and then add them and find the electric field magnitude and direction. So to do this, we need first to remember what is the electric field for an infinite plane. So to recall this, um, we can obtain the electric field through through Gauss law. The Gauss law tell us that the close integral of the product between the vector of the electric field times um, a differential of uh, area, of a vector area, is equal to the enclosed charge over epsilon zero. So to get an idea of what is this, we're just going to draw. But suppose this is an infinite plane that is, or sheet, as you want to call it, um, that is positive charge. So to obtain the um, electric field, we use the Gauss law. The Gauss law tells us that we need to use a Gaussian surface, a Gaussian, yes, a Gaussian surface. In this case, we will use a cylindrical Gaussian geometry because it is the more convenient. So in this here, we will have that um, because the sheet in this case have a positive charge the um, electric field is upward so we will have an electric field for this in the um in the front and in the back is also upward so this is the electric field then the electric field is passing through this surface of the gaussian um geometry so that this in here corresponds to a vector perpendicular to the Gaussian surface. So we obtain that the probability of that is just these two vectors are parallel to each other. So from this, we obtain that this is simply the electric field doesn't change, and the uh, and this is the integral of the area. So we know that the area is the integral of the area is just the area. So we obtain the the electric field times the area. If this is equal to the enclosed the enclosed charge over epsilon zero which is the vacuum permissivity. Now, we just simply solve for the, 
the electric field, and this will give us the following. We note that in this case, we are counting this area and the one at the back. So we have two times that area. And we know that the sigma surface uh, charge density is equal to the charge over the area. So in this case, we will obtain that this is the, the density charge over two times epsilon zero. So with this in mind, we can use this to obtain in our shifts the um, electric field at any position at any point we want to measure the electric field so for part a of this problem we are asked um a point a which is um five centimeters from the left face of the land hands sheet so the position is in here we will have our sheet and this is the point where we want to measure the electric field so as i said in the beginning we are going to compress the left slant with the right slant to get a uniform charge density and then we at them and uh, to find electric field. So if we just slump, slump the all these mm, all these surfaces of the sheets into just one plane, we will have that this will contain as we are gonna call it just like the total surface charge density will be because in here we just need to think that this in here is negative charge this in here is positive this is also positive and this also positive so the electric field and um, when the surface is negative charge it's inward meanwhile that for a positive um surface shirt surface the um, the electric field is upward this also happens for this and this too so in this case we will have that we need to multiply the first one um the first one um surface density charge minus the over minus the other ones and this is our net surface density charge with this in mind we can simply put all the values that we know in here. So we know that sigma one, it's minus six with this minus in here, the negative sign cancels. So we have sigma, For sigma 2, we have minus 5 micro columns over meter square minus sigma 3, which is 2, and minus 4. So we would obtain a value of minus 
minus five micro coulombs over meter square. Now, oh, sorry. As we found in the beginning of this problem, the electric field is is this expression is the total in this case the total and surface charge surface density charge over two times um, the per, the vacuum permissivity so we'll obtain that this is equal to sigma over two times epsilon two and the value of the sigma is Phi micro colons meter square over two times epsilon zero. And um, epsilon zero has a value of eight point eighty five, eight point eighty five times ten to the minus twelve. Fermi per meter. So in this case, we will have that um, the magnitude of the electric field is 2.82 times 10 to the 5 newtons over coulombs. And we can see that from here we obtained that it is with direction to the left, so it is pointing to the left, pointing to the left. Now, for part B of this problem, we do something similar, but the point of measure is 1.25 centimeters from the inner surface of the right hand sheet. So in this case, we will have the point just closer to the inner surface of the right hand sheet. So in this case, we need again to, to just transform this into something like, in this case, we compress these two and these two, and we just then up them. So we will have something like this. Two, two infinite planes, one, one in one side and one on the other. So in here, and again, we know that this is negative, this is positive, positive. So in here, we know that for this is pointing to the left, from this is pointing to the right, from this is pointing to the left, and from this is pointing also to the left, the electric field cow that is produced by each of these surfaces. So, having that in mind, we just going to going to sum in here. We know that for the right one, we have sigma 1 plus sigma 2. And for the left hand sheet, we have sigma 3 plus sigma 4. And then we will have that in here. 
both said that this is we'll call this net one. So net one is sigma one plus sigma two. Knowing that values, we know that is minus one micro columns over meter squared. And for the net two, the sigma net two, we will have that in this case, it goes, it is negative because it is pointing to the to the left so we will have this and this is equal to minus six micro colons per meter square now having all of this we just simply need to sum all of this into the equation for the electric field so we'll have net minus the net of this second one in this case a uh, plus in this case two over epsilon zero so we will have that this is seven micro colon meter u over two times eight point eighty five times 12 far radius per meter and this is 3 3.95 times 10 to the 5 newtons um per column and it is pointing to the left again because we could see that the resulting um, the resulting um, surface charge and uh, surface density charge it is or oh, most of them are put into the left so we will have a negative electric field pointing to the left. Now, for the final question, we are asked um, the electric field in the point C that is in the middle of the right hand sheet. So we will have the sheets and we will have a point C in the middle of the right hand sheet. So again, we will try to slap all of this and just the four one, the four surface is going to be along. So we will have that in here of this form. So this in here, the left one, it's going to be it's going to be Sigma one plus sigma two plus sigma three. Sigma net one is equal to sigma one plus sigma two plus sigma three. And this in here will be just sigma four. So we obtain that net sigma surface um, density area, which is sigma 1 plus sigma 2 plus sigma 3. So having those values, we know that that is minus 6 plus 5. That will give us minus 1 plus 2. That will give us a positive number of one sigma colon per meter square. And in this expression for the electric field, we will have this net force plus 
d4, that it is, that is in here. But in this case, we know that since this is a positive, this is a positive, surface uh, is a positive surface we will have an electric field in this direction and the other ones this is positive 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 this is positive 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 and we saw that that has a positive direction so that the direction of this is to the right and the direction produced by the um, right hand, the right hand and sheet is positive, so it is in the negative direction. So we just need to rest this sigma. So and uh, this over two times epsilon zero. So we will have in here one square minus the sigma 4, which is 4, 4 microcoulombs per meter squared. And this, again, by sigma 0, which is this value. And from here, we obtained a value of 1.6. T9 times 10 to the 5 newtons per column. And again, it is pointing to the left because the resultant, um, this resultant. A quantity of the surface uh, density charge is negative, so that the direction of the electric field is pointing to the left, to the negative 